Yes, I'm playing GTA 5 right now. Yes, I'll do a video on Breaking Bad when it wraps, but Dexter just wrapped, so we should talk about that shit. Dexter, the continuation of a review that I actually did when it was in the first five seasons now. And I guess now we're wrapping it up. So Dexter was a show on Showtime that starred Michael C. Hall. He was a serial killer and he ultimately killed serial killers. Killed folks that deserved it. And I reviewed the show when it was through the first five seasons and I was like, this show's great because seasons one through four were so cool. Then the next four seasons, seasons five through eight happened and then the show wrapped and now... I'm a little underwhelmed. Seriously, there's something after the Lithgow season. It's like the show just declined. This is gonna have spoilers for people who haven't watched Dexter. So if you haven't watched Dexter, spoiler alert. And what I mean by that is if you've seen seasons one through four of Dexter, you've seen what matters. So hey, stick around. I don't mean to bitch about Dexter in this video. I liked Dexter seasons one through four. After season four, they had a lot of missteps, so I'm gonna touch on some shit here. But at the end of season four, they waste Rita. I thought the reason for that is because Rita was humanizing Dexter so much, so they're like, he can't actually have that kind of human interaction. So they waste Rita. Next season, what do they do? They get him a girlfriend. And that doesn't work out. And what do they do a couple seasons later? They get him a girlfriend. It was kind of repetitive. What we learned was Dexter cannot have happiness with a chick. Next season, Dexter cannot have happiness with a chick. Then we learned that Dexter cannot have happiness with a chick because he causes death and now we can't have happiness with a chick. I get it, you don't need to beat it over our heads so much. I mean, you look at season six, it's like Colin Hanks and Edward James almost. They're killing people together and it's ultimately a Tyler Durden type of scenario. And then when Dexter finds that out, Colin Hanks is now evil Colin Hanks. But the way it would work is that he would either be nice, good Colin Hanks or he would mentally be Edward James almost, this teacher. But when Dexter finds out, Colin Hanks is all evil and now he's like, yes, I am evil Colin Hanks and I, and I need to do this for the teacher. It's like, that wasn't how it was though. You were, you were a good guy who had a multiple personality disorder and you good guy were not aware that you were actually bad guy and now you're just aware of it you're not the teacher's mind you're just you're bad now and you always knew what was going on but you didn't that kind of shit is just that's that is bad writing. The biggest wasted opportunity I felt was in, I believe it was season six. It was when Dexter's finding religion. And this priest guy is like, don't kill this guy who killed him, you, you know, forgive him. And Dexter ends up just choking the guy out in the water and drowning him. He turns up, Harry Morgan is gone. You know, he, he hallucinates with Harry. Harry's like his Jiminy Cricket hallucination. And it's his brother, Brian. He's like, hello, little brother. And I'm like, sweet, for the rest of the season, it's gonna be bad Dexter. It's gonna be like when Angel lost his mind and became Angelus in the show, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. And they kept that going for this season and it was awesome. You can have a guy lose his mind to become bad. It actually makes it kind of interesting and people revere that as possibly one of the more interesting story arcs. Nope. One episode long, after that, Dexter finds his wagon. He's like, oh, I guess that was a bad idea. That one tangent I did, and I guess I'm good again. The show Dexter got momentum back when Deborah found out who he was. That was awesome. I was like, finally, we're doing something that puts someone close to him in this really shitty situation where it's like, I know what he is, and I'm a cop, and what to do? And then LaGuardia's like, I think something's up with Dexter, and that was awesome. Then Deborah wastes LaGuardia, and you're like, that's awesome? In the beginning of the next season, Deborah hates Dexter. She's like, I killed the wrong person in that trailer and she's all she's a wreck now and you're like that's awesome consequences and repercussions i get it then the second half of the last season what is leading to the series finale hannah mckay comes back and then now love story and deborah patches her shit up with dexter so all of it's really irrelevant the show did what i thought it would do which is in the second to the last season someone is investigating dexter and it's like all right we're gonna get to the bottom of this and they find out who he is then i always thought in the last season everyone would know who he is or like the bay harbor butchers actually this guy the manhunt is on that would be the last season i like the prospect in a show like this that this guy's secret life is coming to light everyone knows about it now it's all exposed and he doesn't get away with it because he's just he's a monster and he can't have happiness which really the show tried to do but it was like he's a monster he can't have happiness with a chick come on really with that shit at a point in season five joey quinn is investigating dexter he's like something's up with dexter he is so convinced this guy's doing shady shit he actually has photographic evidence that he's probably dumping a body then he forgets all about it and then in the last season he sees footage of dexter Dexter stabbing a guy with a pen. At that point though, he's kind of like, I don't care that you killed him because I wanted you to kill him. But it would have been cool to just at least hear a flashback. Flashback would have been fine because they did a couple flashbacks in this episode. But it would have been cool to see Joey Quinn have a flashback of those moments where he, he suspected Dexter. And at that point he's like, oh shit, he was what I thought he was but I'm gonna let him slide, it's fine, because he killed this guy. This guy who, all right, I'm gonna get to the Boba Fett death in a bit. Getting back to the bullshit side stories, okay, Vince Masuka apparently has a really hot daughter. So 
Oh, what? What did that have to do with anything in this show? It had nothing to do with anything. It was their way of going, we want Vince Masuka in the show and we have no story for him. He has a daughter. All right, well, I guess that's just real. That's relevant, right? All right, Boba Fett death here. This is the dumbest thing ever. Uh, Deborah Morgan was such a cool character. I always thought Jennifer Carpenter outacted everybody in every season. She was awesome. And she gets shot in the stomach by this guy who's also a stupid, irrelevant killer. And she's like, oh, I feel like shit. And she's laying in the hospital and this killer guy's looking for her. And then he goes to the hospital and Dexter's there and Dexter's gonna confront him. And then Angel puts a gun to this guy's neck and he's like, on your knees, asshole. They take him away. Oh, you find out. I guess during surgery, she had a blood clot. It went to her brain. Now she's a vegetable. I think Deb deserved a better way than that. If Deb's gonna die, cool. If you do it right, but that was just some dumb bull. It's like the writers were like, Deb needs to die. It's just kind of understood, right? Right? Okay, Deb needs to die. How? I don't know. Blood clots as good as any. <laughs> right? But it's not, not for that character. That character deserves something a little more relevant. If not relevant, real, and you can argue like, yeah, but sometimes that's how death is. Well, fuck that shit. I loved Frank Lundy and I, I was fine with the fact that that chick killed Frank Lundy because she actually tied in with Trinity. Second to the last episode, Dexter season four, John Lithgow looks at Dexter's name tag. He looks up, he's like, hello. Dexter Morgan. You're like, now he knows who he is. The world's falling apart. I never had that holy shit moment in this season. This is the series finale. I never felt like the world was ending for Dexter. Then they do things like uh, Dexter rides his boat into the storm because he's like, I caused death and pain to everybody. I'm just going to go into the storm and die. Then his boat, they find the wreckage of his boat. It's like, cool. Then in the end, he's still alive in the middle of buttfuck nowhere. How? Why? How did he live through that? Then again, how did Batman live through the bomb? The answer is simple because I'm Batman. I guess Dexter could be like, because because tonight's the night. We just never got a manhunt for Dexter. Anyone who found out about Dexter ended up dying. The last season should have been called Hannah McKay because that was the manhunt that was happening. Hannah McKay is, is Dexter's chick pretty much and she killed a couple people too. And that was the manhunt in this season was Hannah McKay this, Hannah McKay that. Oh, I gotta go. I know I'm looking for Hannah McKay. And Dexter's like, I can't be seen around Hannah McKay. I, a much bigger serial killer, cannot be seen around this chick that they're actually looking for. The whole manhunt revolved around Hannah McKay and it just stole the thunder from Dexter. I don't like to compare everything to Breaking Bad, but if I wasn't told flat out that Breaking Bad was in its last season, I would know just by how the story's going. Dexter just felt like another season. Felt like it could have been a season finale, not a series finale. If I'm advocating Dexter, here it is. Watch seasons one through four. Know that when Rita gets wasted, that's where the world ends for him. He's like, oh, well, I guess I am just a killer and I bring death because he's going to learn that lesson three or four other times in the show and it just gets repetitive and bullshitty. Bullshitty. This show would have been a really solid five or six Six season story. Like after Rita died, you could have had other people be like, oh wait, I think something's wrong with Dexter. And in the end they find out. Then the sixth and final season could have been the manhunt for Dexter. But in the end they drew it out to where it really diluted the entire show to be a lot of irrelevance. So the show Dexter and the Dexter series finale. What did you think about it? Whatever you thought, comment below. Let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right here to see more.